Canterbury Mosque is, is unique. It is open to everyone. And uh, the, the people who attend the prayers are from all parts of the Muslim world originally. And uh, some of them have settled here. There are some students who study here and then they go back. Um, and we welcome everyone, um, even non-Muslims. We have open days for the mosque where people can come and visit and see what it's, the mosque is like. We also have regular uh, school visits uh, where the young children come here and take part in activities. We organize things for them uh, and they get information. Um, and um, it's always been very successful. We also invite people from the local uh, communities uh, outside, non-Muslims, uh, from the churches because Canterbury is a center of the uh, Church of England. So it's a very important uh, city in that sense. So we invite the uh, Christian and uh, Jewish and other uh, faiths. And in fact, I'm a member of the interfaith uh, Kandifa, Canterbury and District Interfaith um, Association, which includes all, all kinds of religions. Uh, we have always good relations with people. Um, I moved to Canterbury about a year ago um, from Glasgow. Uh, we have a lot of masjids in Glasgow, but the majority of them don't have space for women um, and they don't have women on the committee, so they have very little clue as to um, what different people need from the masjid. Um, they also tend to be uh, very uh, ethnically specific. Um, so when I moved to Canterbury and I found out that the mosque here has a 50-50 split on the, the trustees and on the um, the executive committee just uh, it made me feel a lot more welcome and um, they have classes for new muslims which i got involved in as kind of an older revert um, and it, what mainly got me involved is the charitable side of the mosque um, i come from a background of working with asylum seekers and they have a very active um, asylum seeker and refugee program so we're obviously looking to extend the mosque um, and create more spaces because we are getting uh, bigger in terms of our community. Um, there's more Muslims coming to Canterbury uh, from all sorts uh, and the university is also expanding. You know, there's a new medical school, um, there's new courses that you know, come in um, every day. Uh, so there's more students, there's more people in the community so we need obviously more space to kind of accommodate them. Uh, and to help facilitate, you know, the things that I mentioned, you know, the learning, uh, the community, because it's very important uh, as Muslims uh, that we have that community. Uh, we're a very kind of community-based religion. Um, you know, we thrive off kind of pushing ourselves. Um, so it's very important that we have this, you know, that we have the space for learning, that we have the space to come together, um, you know, to build relationships um, and to really promote kind of our religion uh, within the community. So. It's very important, you know, that this expansion, you know, does go ahead for us. Uh, you know, Alhamdulillah, uh, like there are a lot of our uh, brothers, Muslims from different countries, especially from uh, Afghanistan. Uh, like um, Friday is the only day where we met them and uh, uh, we hug them, we greet them. And it's very special day for us uh, as we come to pray and uh, we meet them. Uh, and this is very special day for me. And uh, sometimes we go to each other's house and we uh, have a tea with them. Uh, and uh, we share our love uh, with each other on the day uh, of Friday. It's wonderful, alhamdulillah, that we have got a huge number of Muslims now in the city of Canterbury. Uh, there's a huge number of uh, Muslim students as well, and the numbers are increasing every day. Because it's a cosmopolitan city, there's a lot of uh, cultural uh, backgrounds, a lot of Muslims uh, from uh, different countries, uh, both Arab, Middle Eastern, European Muslims, they are all coming uh, to attend Canterbury Mosque. And we now feel the mosque itself is the center point for a lot of activities which both Muslim men, women, as well as children participate in. It's a cultural center for the Muslims in Canterbury and we need a better and a bigger provision in form of a mosque which would cater for the needs of the Muslim community brothers, sisters, as well as the children who are um, the coming uh, generation uh, and will bear the fault of being the Muslims of the future. We're the only mosque in Canterbury and our Muslim community is growing. We're running out of space. We appeal to you during this month of Ramadan to help us out to extend our mosque. Thank you very much. Jazakum Allah khairan and may Allah bless you all.